Hello YouTube, this is Nisha Kaur. Um, today I've decided that I want to make a, a video series on the XMC um, 1400 bootkit series from Infineo. This is the actual um, microcontroller and this is the um, debugger which is the Zeger J-Link. Um, this, is, this debugger is used to debug and flash this microcontroller and it is uh, included in the kit when you buy it. This is the box that you get you receive when you buy it from Infineon. Um, and basically on this bootkit we have an onboard and four onboard LEDs which, which are positioned here here they are and we have a potentiometer which is connected to um, an auto digital converter pin we're gonna use it later in the video um, also we have a CAN transceiver over here which is good we can uh, use it for uh, more complex stuff uh, as we go along with the videos um, this is going to be a very short, short video just to turn on and off an LED. Uh, the four LEDs are connected to port uh, number four. Um, um, pin zero to three. Um, this microcontroller is at 32 bit, which is very big, very good. Um, we have four ports, five ports, zero to four. Um, okay, so let's start. Uh, in order to start uh, writing code, I'm using the Dave uh, application, Dave software. This is their logo. Uh, all you have to do is just go to uh, Google, type download Dave. You're, they're probably going to ask your email and your name. And just type the, your email and name, download the software, and you're good to go. Um, drivers for the J-Link, you, you don't need to... Uh, download them because as soon as you connect it to the PC, it will all, it will auto download and uh, configure it for you. If not, um, just write in the YouTube comment down below and I'll do my best to help you. Um, okay, so let's start. Today's tutorial series, we're gonna actually blink an LED as I said uh, two minutes ago. Um, these LEDs are connected via a resistor. You can see them pretty good. Yeah, they are connected to a resistor um, with a pull-up. So with a, from so basically, um, in order to turn on the LED, we're gonna give it a low. We're gonna drive it low to turn it on. To turn it off, we're gonna give it a high. So it actually works um, uh, uh, the opposite of how we should think about it. To turn on the LED, you're gonna give it power. No, on this board specifically, on this board, they are connected via a pull-up. Um, they they do that to save a current from the microcontroller. So imagine that they are connected to ground, and you want to drive them from the microcontroller. The microcontroller does not have a lot of current to drive an LED or drive a motor or whatever. So they connect it to a, a pull up of five to a five volt uh, power supply with with high current, like let's say uh, five hundred milliamps, and you just give it five volt or zero volt to have a voltage reference to turn it on. So basically, if we give, if we give it a five volt from the microcontroller, and it already has a five volt uh, pull up, so basically there's no uh, voltage reference, so it will just turn off. Um, when you drive it low, you give it low from the microcontroller, and the other side of the LED has a five volt uh, via pull up, so basically there's a five volt reference from the two points. So this is how to, you turn on the LED. So let's start. Um, first of all, let's open a project file new. A Dave project, um, Dave CE. We're gonna call the project LED Blink No Timers. This is the basic, basic of the basic, just to start um, understanding how the IO works and how to uh, navigate through the IOs and configure the pinning, the hardware pins. Next, um, we've decided to use the Dave CE project. Um, next. We're gonna select our bootkit, which is gonna be the XMC 1400 bootkit. This is it. This is the microcontroller's features. I'm not gonna go dig into it right now, but we're gonna continue. Um, you press finish, and there you have it. Now we're gonna check if we have our main. Looks good. We're gonna write our code here. User code. Um, we're not gonna touch all this stuff because this stuff they've set it up for us to make our life easier um, let's check if I have an error if everything is okay looks good okay great 
And now we want to uh, connect our uh, debugger, the J, the J link to the microcontroller. So basically how you do it, you just press on this small bug. Um, you select the JB Zigger, make sure that uh, the project is the project we're working on, which what we call the LED blink node timers and the application with the .elf same name as the project uh, we've selected. We, call, we give it the, the same name. So you do this only once, the computer will, uh, the application will, will, will save this. Press debug, let's check if it's all, if everything's okay, um, and press resume. Okay, looks good. There's nothing new on the board. The green blinking is the use the USB connected to the J link, indicating that that there is communi communication from the computer to the uh, uh, J link. So far, so good. Now we're gonna dig into the uh, main uh, thing in this project. Is actually how to navigate through the pins. Um, here we're gonna press on the add a new app. We're gonna add an application saying that we want an IO. So here you can see we've got tons of stuff that the microcontroller can actually do for us. Here we have a uh, capture counter. I'm gonna go through these um, as far as we go with the series. Um, basically we're gonna start with an IO. So I'm just gonna uh, type in IO because this is what I want right now. So we're gonna press the IO. I'm not going to dig into how everything is going to work now. I'm just going to basically um, show you. So uh, we have added an IO. This IO, uh, I want to give it a name. Like imagine we have, I have 200 IOs. In this microcontroller, we have only 32. But imagine that we have 400. How, how can you remember what's the name of the IO? So basically, I'm going to give it a special name. This is going to be um, LED number zero. LED zero. There you have it. Now this name is how I'm gonna um, uh, navigate through this hardware pin. Basically this is in the software right now. I'm gonna connect the software and the name of the pin to the actual hardware pin. We do it by manual pin allocator. Um, so the four LEDs are connected to port on port four of pins zero to two. Um, I'm gonna search, navigate to a uh, Port number four, uh, IO number zero. Great, um, save. So now uh, we've configured an IO, but we have not configured how the IO is going to work. Is it an output? Is it an input? <coughs> Let's navigate. The, so the pin direction is going to be an output. Um, push pull and shift level is going to low. Okay, so as I explained in the, in the beginning of the video, that the LED is already connected to the to a pull-up resistor. So when we basically drive it low, it's gonna turn on. Um, I'm gonna leave it for now, um, and we are going to generate the code that the application have uh, configured to us to generate code. Um, there you have it, generated code. The I great. So um, let's get the function that will actually turn on the LED. Yeah, we're gonna be in the digital io.h. We can go to the C, but there's a lot of code in the H. They're just explain the functions and how it's gonna work. So here we take the high. Pay close attention that the function actually takes const a, a variable from a digital io, and it is a pointer actually. So uh, here we go. Wanna drive the LED low? Um, what LED? So we're gonna do because it's a pointer. It's gonna be an ampersand. Uh, ampersand and the name of the uh, LED that what what what, what name we, we gave it? So it's gonna be LED zero. And and okay. So let's see if we actually turned on the LED. I'm going to press on this little uh, bug thing which is actually going to debug our code and I'm going to press start debug yeah save yeah save and launches I'm going to do that always okay and start there you have it so far so good the LED turns on when we turn it low which yeah, actually works um, great now let's blink the LED we blink it by turning it on now this microcontroller 
now is running on super speed which is uh, 48 megahertz we can change the speed by going to its settings changing it for now i'm not gonna change it it's, uh, it's not needed for what we're trying to do right now but i'm gonna uh, tell the microcontroller to wait the way we're gonna tell it to wait is actually loop it in a for loop and just do nothing so for unsigned integer which is a 32 bit size um you can just use an int but i like using these stuff and bits i equals to zero i i want you to loop until the i reaches one two three four i plus plus and basically just do nothing just wait because it's it works in super speeds for now yeah okay after we turn on the led and we've waited because uh, it's super fast and the, our eye cannot see that super sped, fast speed we can see in a refresh rate of 20 milliseconds um, i think i'm not sure but um and so we've waited a bit and now we're gonna turn it off by trying to get high and let's type a comment here saying the led is a hard we're connected to a full up resistor basically this is how we write pull up okay uh, uh, drive the pin low in order to turn on the led And here the same thing, drive the pin high to turn off the LED. Works actually the opposite. So okay, so imagine we've turned off the LED, we turned on the LED, we've waited, and we turned it off, and then we looked again. So we're actually not gonna see the blinking. We need to wait. Uh, when we've turned off the LED, we need to wait. Here we're waiting. Now this is not the the perfect way to blink an LED. As I said, as as we progress in our videos, we will uh, um, see another ways to to uh, toggle the LED. So um, here I'm gonna flash the code. Hopefully there's no errors. Okay, everything <coughs> everything is went well, and start. There you have it. Here we have a blinking LED. I'm um, gonna show you the debug features. We're gonna use the breakpoint, the code. And I'm gonna break the code here. I want, to, I, want to, I want to tell the computer to stop when you reach this line and stop when we reach this line. I'm gonna enable it. And there you have it here. We've stopped at that line. So after we have uh, um, executed this line, we should see the LED goes off. So we execute one line by clicking step over oh and the led turned off we're gonna run until we reach the first breakpoint here we reach it i'm gonna step over if the led should turn on right now there you have it the led turns on i'm gonna tell it run continuously there you have it the led blinks great great um so basically, uh, this is we have reached the end of our uh, first video series. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Um, please uh, write in the comments if I have something to improve, and subscribe to see my other videos on uh, this microcontroller. As we're gonna progress, use timers and use interrupts to uh, blink LED. Um, after we have uh, done the basic stuff and we've started learning how to use the microcontroller, we're gonna step it over and we're gonna use uh, the uh, more uh, uh, more communications uh, like SPI, I square C, and uh, using the analog to digital converter that we have. Um, so please stay tuned um, and thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed. See you in my next video. Bye bye.